Now, according to the United Nations, over a billion meals a day become food waste, and that represents nearly 10% of global emissions. Well, our correspondent Remy Blair had the chance to sit down with Mill CEO Matt Rogers to explain the scale of the problem and how his company is trying to change that. I didn't know how big this issue was. Uh, food waste is about 10% of our emissions. Uh, and frankly, most of it comes from us at home. So I started a new company, Mill, to make it really easy for us to recycle food at home. And Matt, I understand that you're also a uh, co-founder of Nest. So you've been in the space developing products and designing products. So tell me how your product at Mill works. Yes. So it's an entire food recycling system. It starts with a new bin for your kitchen that is beautiful, easy to use, doesn't smell, uh, and is very quiet. It takes all the food you don't eat and takes the water out, makes it into what looks like coffee grounds, but is a nutrient-rich resource that we could then use for composting or to send back to farms. And when it comes to composting, as you mentioned, some of the issues that tend to be brought up are smell. So in a small New York City apartment, for example, if you're composting, you face the issue. <laughs> yes. So tell me how the next generation of your product works and what it means in terms of subscriptions and pricing. Yes. So it's very important when you make a product for people at home that it's really easy and there are absolutely no smells. Like again, like if you're if you're composting at home today, you probably have experience with fruit flies or or mice. Mm -hmm. So we made a product that doesn't smell at all. It's got this incredible charcoal filter in the back that filters all of the VOCs that could occur during composting. It's something that you could use every day. It takes weeks to fill up. And to your point about what are the ways of purchasing milk? So there's lots of different ways to, for people to sign up. We have an option to rent it, where you could pay about $30 a month to rent the product, or you could buy it outright for about 1000 mm -hmm. And Matt, I understand you have a history of utilizing the wonders of technology to address problems and to make an impact. So when we're talking about food waste, there are concerns about climate change, emissions, yep. not to mention the monetary value of the food waste that gets put out there. So tell me what your vision is. Like, we shouldn't be wasting food. I mean, I think about like, my grandparents' generation. Like, no one wasted food. Uh, it's something that shouldn't be controversial, but today it's really hard. Uh, only about 10% of municipalities provide a compost bin for residents. So there's just not a lot of access out there. So. Part of my goal is by building this consumer product, one, we're gonna drive people's behavior change, make it easy for people to recycle food at home, but also we're gonna inspire and start to make it easier to provide municipal services to residences all across the country. And I do want to ask you about what we're seeing in terms of regulation, at least in the country. So what do you make of some of the regulations that are coming into play in different states on both coasts? Yeah, so California and Washington state just recently passed landfill bans on food waste. Mm -hmm. So you could no longer send food to trash. Uh, and it's encouraging a lot of change at the municipal level and actually a whole bunch of new industry around composting. New York City just recently passed a ban on, on food waste, and the city is now rolling out bins for people to use at home. This is really good to see, and actually I hope more and more states start doing this. Again, food is a resource. We could use it to feed, feed soil or feed animals. We shouldn't be throwing it in landfill to make poison for the atmosphere. And as you mentioned, food insecurity is a huge issue. It's a problem not just in this country, but also overseas. And given the inflation we've seen in grocery prices, we really shouldn't be wasting food. But when it comes to technology, you've utilized technology to develop other products, including Nest. So tell me about the pros and cons of utilizing technology, especially when it comes to artificial intelligence and also concerns about data privacy. Mm -hmm. So we could use technology to actually drive a lot of positive change. And I think about what we did at Nest, where we would use data and then send you an energy report every month to tell you about how you could save energy. And actually we saw people saving energy over time just by having this information. And we're starting to use the same technology at Mill, where we're learning from our data, we're sending you a monthly report on your impact. And actually over time, you'll start to say, hey, well, I could save money at the grocery store by buying a little bit less food because I'm wasting $1,000 or $2,000 a year on food that I'm just not even eating. And Matt, last but not least, before I let you go, we all know that every bit counts. So 
in terms of consumers out there, viewers, what can they do to really make a difference in mm. terms of impact? So food waste is about 10% of our emissions. So one, if your city provides a compost bin, use it. Most people don't. Uh, second, like try out mill. Uh, it's a great way to get started. And then third, like pay attention to what you throw out every week. When you're doing that fridge clean out on Sunday, you know, if you're throwing out that box of, of salad like I do every week, maybe don't buy those boxes of salad anymore.